in the midnight arm Hanging by a thread And you've cried all your tears And all the prayers you said That's when Jesus comes running and Takes you by the hand Just hold on, you can make Press on, morning's coming. Amen. Amen. Press need help tonight. On. I'm glad they're singing that song. Maybe you need help tonight. This lady's first time she's ever been here this morning. We went and got her. Y'all pray for her. others. There's not a person in here this tonight that don't need help from Jesus. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Remember Paul and Silas? They were bound in stocks and chains, but they sang a song of joy Amen. in the midst of their pain. It was Daniel in the lion's den, the Hebrews in the fire, but they all stood strong and suffered long. Cause they trusted in God's power And it's in the midnight hour When you're hanging by a thread And you've cried all your tears And all the prayers you said That's when Jesus comes running And takes you by the hand just hold on, you can make it. Amen. Press on, Amen. morning's coming. Press on. If your heart's been broken, like a shattered piece of glass And you wonder if the pain you feel Is ever gonna pass When the darkness around you Might seem to have no end Just keep holding on It won't be long Till you'll see the sun again it's in the midnight hour When you're hanging by a thread And you've cried all your tears And all the prayers you said That's when Jesus comes running And takes you by the hand Just hold on, you can make it I might sing one more. I've been in a tough time, got laid off, and wound up working at a place I didn't really, don't really like. But the Lord's got me there teaching me something, and uh, been working with some handicapped folks. And uh, and handicapped folks, man, I don't know what it is, but uh, they can get pretty rowdy. And uh, but they've got a piano in that place, and I kept wanting to get on it. And uh, I tried to play some secular music for this girl I work with. She she hurts herself, hits herself, and does things, and nothing would help her. And uh, we sat down. I sat down on the piano one day and started singing these songs. And as long as I'm sitting there singing, and as long as we're singing gospel music, she don't do that. Yes. And, that's, and uh, that's amazing to me. And, and it's and everybody keeps saying, "Oh, you're." Amazing. I said, "Look, y'all, this isn't me. This is the spirit of God." And the other day, that place you can hear people screaming and hollering and doing stuff. The other day, we was playing and singing. And that girl sitting there and she just sways back and forth. And God moves in that place. And. Uh, when I stop, you can hear a pin drop in there. Ain't the Lord good, though? Yep. I mean, yep. I don't care where you're at or what you're doing. You might be in a place where you just think, man, I don't like it here. It's not comfortable. You know, I'm in a valley. But, brother, I'm telling you, the Lord's right there with you. Right. Amen. Amen. 
Man, I'm telling you what, he's good. And I don't regret a mile that I've traveled for the Lord. I don't regret all the time I've trusted His holy word. I've seen the years go by. Many days without a song. That's right. But I don't regret a mile. I've traveled for the Lord. No, I don't regret one mile that I've traveled for the Lord. I don't regret the time I've trusted in His Word. I've seen the years go by many days a song but I don't regret a mile I've traveled for the Lord amen hallelujah enjoy that say amen thank God I'm glad he sung that and I'm glad they sung the last one uh, the first one there too as right along with what I'm going to preach tonight. I want you to take your Bible and open to Proverbs 18, the book of Proverbs, chapter number 18. And um, I'm just going to give you one verse of Scripture tonight that everybody in here knows, should know, I just need to be reminded of it once in a while. You know what preaching is? It's a lot of things. Preaching isn't always teaching you something you don't know. A lot of times preaching is reminding you of things you already know. Isn't that right? The devil has a way of making us forget what God's done and how good the Lord's been. And sometimes a preacher come along and just remind you of things that he is and that he's done. And it'll help you tonight. So I want to try to help you tonight just for a few minutes. I love you. And I want to try to help you tonight. Proverbs 18, verse 24. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Closer than a brother. I'm telling you this evening, I need that, and that helps me. I don't have a brother, a physical brother in this world. I've got a sister. My sister was here this morning. Debbie, y'all saw her over here with my girls. And uh, uh, my other sister went to heaven a few years ago. I lost my daddy and my sister within six months' time. And then my, uh, my mom has been gone about three and a half years now. And uh, according to the Bible, the Lord's a friend that sticketh closer than your brother or your sister. Isn't that something? He's closer than your brother, your mother, your father, your sister, or your brother. He's your friend. And I want to preach tonight about what a friend we have in Jesus. When I'm, uh, a lot of people in this world, as long as you're helping them and advancing their cause, they'll be your friend. But when the chips are down, things are bad, they're nowhere to be found. You have, you, the truth is, you have very few friends in this world. They say when you die, if you can count the amount of friends you got on one hand, uh, you're, you're doing better than most people. I'm talking about real friends. Now I want to say prosperity makes friends Adversity tries friends. And I want to I wanna say tonight uh, that what a friend is and what a friend Jesus has been to me. I said to one time, uh, uh, there's a woman committed, jumped off this river and, in the river and committed suicide off this bridge. 
And everybody's standing there shaking their head, saying how awful. And a man was standing there, and a little boy said, Daddy, why'd she jump in the river? He said, because she didn't have no friends, son. He said, she ain't going to find no friends in the river. And that's right, that's right. You ain't going to find no friends out there in this world or in the river. You see, looking in the wrong place. I will say tonight, he's your friend. I tell people, you can ask anybody that goes with me anywhere. I tell everybody everywhere, he's your best friend. I give out a track, and I say, here, this will tell you about your best friend. I told a guy, I think it was a guy, I don't know what it was, in, in, in Washington, D.C. the other day when we was up there. I was preaching up there last weekend. And there's some old fellow sitting there. He had blonde dreadlocks to right here. I ain't kidding you. I like ponytails, pigtails. And he was sitting there, had all his stuff packed up. I, I'm assuming it was a man. I guess it was. And uh, I, said, uh, I, I said, here you go, buddy. I said, this will tell you about your best friend. He said, I ain't got no friend. And I said, yeah, you do. You just don't know it. Here's your friend. He's your friend. He's your friend. He's your friend. Y'all, he's your friend. Amen. Amen. Brother Ginger, he's your friend. Brother Roy, he's your friend. Miss Desi, he's your friend. Amen. Rods, he's your friend. He's your friend, y'all. He is your friend. He's your best friend. And when nobody else is there, the Lord will be there. When nobody else understands what you're going through, the Lord will help you go through what you're going. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not just preaching this because this is preacher language. I've experienced it in my life. And I know that he'll be there, brother. I'm telling you what, he is the best friend I've ever had. I will say uh, tonight, he's a special friend. He's a special friend. Many people feel that they have no friends. Uh, you know, you can be lonely in a crowd. Have you ever been that way? You can be lonely in a crowd. You can be around a big crowd of people and feel all alone, like you have no friend, but he's your friend. He, he never did anything wrong. That's a special friend. You know, let me tell you what a special friend Jesus is. He knows everything there is to know about you and he still hangs around with you. I'm telling you what, that's a friend there. That's a friend there. I've known a lot of people, they thought, boy, I love you, Danny. You best thing ever happened since light bread and stuff like that. But I think it's to know me. They ain't my friend no more. And I know I had other people, they'll go so far with you and after they know your faults and your flaws, I don't want to have nothing to do with you no more. But the Lord knows everything about you and still is your friend anyway. That ought to be a blessing to you tonight. I'm telling you, I don't know what some of you people's going through. You may have bad news from the doctor this week. You may be getting evicted out of your home or apartment this week. You may be going through a divorce uh, this week. I don't know. You may be going through the hardest time of your life, but I've got good news for you. You have a special friend in Jesus. A friend is a person with whom you can think out loud. You ever had somebody you thought they was your friend and you said, look, I just, and you spilled your gut and you say, now look, this is just between me and you, okay? Oh, sure, it'll not go out of this room. And uh, but somehow it got out of that room and next thing you know everybody in Burton McDowell County know about it uh, well you don't have to worry about that the Lord he will not do that to you I can tell him my dark secrets and he don't go blabbing it around to everybody else I say Lord you know I've got this need and Lord you know how sorry I am and God you know how weak I am and Lord Jesus you know and buddy he don't say Danny I ain't going to mess with you no more I'm tired of messing with you a lot of people like that but the Lord's not like that the Lord just gets right there with you and he said I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you listen that ought to make you on shouting ground tonight you ought to be on shouting ground tonight because you got one friend that will never ever ever leave you I don't care how bad it gets I don't care how far you fall down I don't care if the devil rubbed your face in the mud I don't care if you failed a thousand times thank God hallelujah here's your friend He's a special friend tonight. He's a special friend. Amen. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. I'll never uh, forget uh, Charles Wagle. You've heard me tell it before. His wife left him. And when his wife left him, it broke his heart. I think he come in one day and found a note on the table or something like that. Said, I don't love you no more. I don't want to be married no more. And I'm gone. 
and that old man going out and sat down on the piano and he wrote that song. Now, I would like to tell you what I, I think of Jesus since I found in him a friend so kind and true. I'd love to tell you how he changed my life completely. He did something that no other friend could do. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There's no other kind as he. No one else could take the sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much he cared for me. Lord in mercy. I'm telling you, he's a special friend. I want to say second tonight, he's a sympathetic friend. He's a sympathetic friend. He'll give you grace to help. He'll forgive you. He has a person personal interest in you. He understands your need. Amen. I'm telling you something, brother. I mentioned my, uh, talking about Barbara and her, brother Fred's death. And I know um, I was over there Wednesday evening before church. And then we was back over there um, Friday evening. And then I was back over there yesterday morning. And then back over there yes, last night. And I'm telling you, that night, Friday night, I believe it was when I was over there, every time we looked down, uh, he, Fred was laying there and he had uh, what they call the death rattles. You know, what they say, people have the death rattles. And you know it's not going to be long when they get like that. He was laying there gasping for breath. And Barbara would start talking. She'd start talking and she'd start crying. She'd start talking and he'd start crying. And I thought, Lord have mercy, it's going to be hard when he goes. I, I bless her heart. Do you know what? After he went yesterday, about 4 or 5 o'clock yesterday evening, and I went over there. I was sort of dreading it. I thought Barbara's going to be in bad shape. And I went upstairs in her house. She was sitting there talking to some of the neighbors. And you know what? I said, Barbara, are you all right? She said, yeah, I'm fine, Mother Danny. I, you know what helps people to do that? You know, people ain't got that friend that I'm talking about. They can't do that. I've seen people go crazy. I've seen them scream and beat their hands on the floor. They, you know, have no hope. They don't know whether they're in heaven or hell. They don't know if they'll ever see them again. But Barbara sat there on the couch. She she said, I'll try. Listen, brother, that sympathetic friend was helping her and is helping her. You know, when we lose a loved one, I'll never forget when my, when my sister died. My sister told me, she said, Danny, I want you to preach at my funeral. I said, you know I will, Sandy. And uh, they told her, they said, uh, they said uh, uh, well, I think one of her or class teachers or something. She said, now, they said, now, your brother can't do your funeral, can he? She said, oh, yeah, Danny can do anything. That's what she told me. She said, I can do anything. And I said the same thing about her. She could do anything. But I couldn't without the Lord. I couldn't do that without the Lord. And when she died, my mom had the bell choir from up there in Marion. Some, I think it was some First Baptist Church in Marion had a bell choir. And my sister loved them. And it was all lined up across there. And they rang them little bell. Ding, 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 ding. And you know what makes a song uh, while they're doing that? And it started getting to me. And I started thinking about my sister. And I thought her, she had just She's 39 years old and just turned 40. And I begin to think, and then I begin to think, you know what? All these people are here at her funeral and some of them might not be saved. And I felt my friend right beside me. I ain't kidding you. I ain't kidding you. I felt it. And he said, there's people here that need God. Your sister's all right. Don't feel sorry for Sandy. She's better off than you are. Boy, I got up there and felt like Superman. I ain't kidding you. You know what does that? My friend! Thank God, my friend. I'm glad we don't have to sorrow. I don't shut up. I'm going to shout. If I don't shut up. I'm going to have a shout spell tonight. People, we've got something to believe in. We've got somebody that'll be there when the hard times come. And my six months later, my daddy dropped dead in the bedroom floor with a heart attack. Same thing. I went home that evening and cried all evening. And uh, me and the girls oh, that was over to hook and anchor and and uh, we was getting ready to get something to eat. And the guy came back there and he said, Danny, you need to come to the telephone. And I said, oh, Lord, who even knows I'm supposed to, I didn't even know tell nobody I was coming here. And they said, you better get home right now. My dad died and my family started coming in. And I'd already announced that morning I was going to finish the sermon that night. My head was busting. I cried all evening long. And I said, Lord... I told them people I was going to come back and preach tonight. So I went back to church. My friend helped me through that. We had watch night service the next night. My friend helped me that. We had a big crowd at watch night service. My dad was in the funeral home. And then we had received friends on Tuesday night. And had the funeral on Wednesday. And I'm telling you, my friend was there. He's sympathetic. He's sympathetic. He knows the feeling of our infirmity. Have you went through a hard time? Have you went through a hard time? Have you got your heart hurt? Have you had your heart broke? Lord God, brother, I'm telling you, that's when he'll show up. 
He'll show up. He'll show up. This living for God's not in vain. We ain't wasting our time. When the hard time comes, woo, he'll be there. Amen, thank God. We ought to just stop and shout a while and say it's good to be saved. Ain't it good to be saved, people? Woo, hallelujah. Well, I'm telling you what, Lord of God, brother, I'm glad I'm saved tonight. It's real, it's real, hallelujah. It's real. Your friend is sitting beside you tonight and said, I'll never leave. Come back up here, brother. Y'all come back up here and sing that song. Lord have mercy, I can't preach. I ain't no, I ain't no pre- shape to preach. I'm in a shape to shout and rejoice. Hallelujah. They're going to sing that song again. I'll try to say another thing or two. He's a faithful friend. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was walking in that fire and is walking in there, brother, listen, they was in the worst jam of their life. Guess who showed up? What the devil... Wasn't the guy that runs a beer joint down there. Wasn't a drug addict. It was his special friend, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna tell you, when you get in trouble, it won't be your drug buddies that show up. It won't be. You can't depend on the liquor store owner. Hey, let's sing it with them tonight. Let's stand. Sing that song tonight. He's your friend tonight. He wants to be your friend. Will you let him be your friend? Will you bring your burdens up here tonight? Let's let him have our burden. Come on. Come on. Get out of your seat. Come on. Let's give him our burdens tonight. Come on. Come on. Let's get out of here tonight and let's pray. That's right. That's right. Bring your burden up here to Jesus tonight. Let the Lord speak to you. Woo! Yeah, glory to God. Jesus comes to run. Let the Lord help you tonight. Come on, for the hand. Let him help you tonight. Come on, Moses. Yeah, just hold on. Glory to God. Amen. Come on tonight. Come on. Press on. Press on tonight. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Morning's coming. Press on. Sing it, brother. Amen. Come on. Amen. Let's sing tonight. Let's worship him tonight. Just worship him tonight. Remember Paul and Sala. They were bound in stocks and chains. Lord, if God, I'm glad I'm saved. 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 Let the Lord help you tonight. The Lord will help you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get this all tonight. The Get in this altar and let the Lord in the fire. Don't say no to it. They all stood strong yeah, and suffered. Yeah, man. Because they God. trusted in Woo. his power. Yeah, press on. It's in the midnight hour. That's when he'll come to when you. You're he'll help you. He'll help you and grab you by the hand. And you cry all your tears. Yes, hallelujah. And all the prayers you Let say. Let the Lord help you tonight. That's when Jesus comes to run and takes you by the hand. Right. The Just Lord hold on. You can make, make it. it. Hold on. You can make it. That's right. Press on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Morning's Amen. coming. Press on. Say another verse, brother. You let God speak to your heart tonight. You obey the Lord tonight. Let him help you. He can do more in five seconds and I can do in a lot. heart's been broken. God can fix it. He can like fix it. Shattered He'll help you tonight. Glass, and you wonder if the pain yeah, you man. feel is yeah, ever man. gonna pass. Yeah, so Y'all pray for us. Yeah, man. When the darkness yeah, surrounds you might seem to have no end. Just keep holding on. Amen. It won't be long till you see the sun again. Amen. It's in the midnight. Amen. Amen. When you're hanging by, hanging by the thread, thread, that's when the Lord will and you. you've cried all your tears. Glory to God. And all the Amen. prayers you said, Amen. that's Hallelujah. when my Jesus Woo! comes around yeah, he does. Amen. and takes you by the hand. Amen. Just hold on, you yeah. can make hold it. Hold on, you can make it. Amen. Come on. Press on. Saint, brother. Amen. Morning Come on, come on, my friend. Sometimes it's hard, y'all. 
Sometimes it's hard. I, I won't stand up here and tell you that it don't get hard sometimes. Sometimes it took everything I could do to make myself get up and go. Even go to church or make myself read my Bible. I didn't even want to. Sometimes I'd be going to preach somewhere and I thought, Lord, my, my heart ain't even in this. I, I feel like I'm a million miles away. But the old preacher said this. They said, don't doubt in the dark what God told you in the light. Whatever God told you, whenever things all right, it's still all right. And when you're going through the trial, don't believe the devil. He'll trick you. He'll trick you. He'll make you think lights has gone out. He'll make you think it's over. But he's a liar. I have no idea what to do. Usually I pretty well know what to do, but I have no idea. You obey God, brother. I would love to tell you what I that think song. of Jesus. How's that song? That's what that man wrote. I found in him That's what he wrote when his so wife walked out on him. And true. He'll be your friend. I would tell you how He'll be your friend. he changed my life completely. He did something that no other friend can do. No one ever cared for me. Like Jesus, there's no other friend so kind as He. That's right. No one else could take this sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much He cares for. My life was full of sin Boy, that when Jesus me. found me. Wasn't that the way you was? Oh, my heart was full of, full of misery. Why did the Lord let us get saved? Why did He let me get saved? I don't know. Then he I don't know. His kind I can be in hell. He's not God telling me. Put His arm around me. And he led oh, that God. me in the way that I should go. Has God been good to you? Worship Him tonight. Just no one him. ever cared for me like, like Jesus. Jesus. There's no other oh, friend so, so kind as He is. He. Yeah, man. No one else could take the sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much He cares for me. Amen. What about that? Let's take just a minute here. Let somebody just, just be seated just a second. The other day I was running over yonder uh, and I, I met these folks. They were walking. walking and... Uh, I try to witness to them. I try to witness to everybody. I say, I try. And I say, the Lord loves you. He's your best friend. The Lord loves you. And I spoke to this lady, and she started talking to me. And, and I told her I was a preacher. And finally, she wanted to come to church. And they, Raise your hand up there, Barbara. Raise your hand, Barbara, so they can see you, her. And she said, you're a preacher? I said, yes, ma'am. Amen. You want to say something? You want to say something? Say something. Better listen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And this morning was her first time here. We went and got her. She said, can I come back tonight? And we went and got her again tonight. And she loves the Lord. She loves the Lord. Y'all, listen. The Lord, worked. he might have spoke somebody through her right there. Amen. You better listen. You better listen. Amen. Anybody? Does anybody want to just brag on the Lord? Sure is good to have Jamie. Jason. Y'all might remember them. Raise your hand back there, brother. Used to come over in the old building. It's the first time y'all been in the new building. Amen. They used to come all the time over. Sure is good to have them tonight. Um, and and Kathy and Mark, that's right. The, he was the first time he was here this morning. Kathy used to be my neighbor up there in Hoppy Tom years ago. 
And uh, sure is good to see them here. Anybody, anybody else just want to brag on the Lord? We'll just have a little family, just a little family time here before we go. Go ahead. Amen, sister. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me too. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Jeff. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now listen, don't don't just drown yourself. Sometimes you gotta you gotta swim, brother. Sometimes you gotta swim. It ain't always easy. Let the Lord help you. Anybody else? Right quick. Stand up and say something for Jesus. Everybody's heart clear? Everybody's heart clear tonight? Got something you need to say. Amen. We've got some folks gone. Won't you all be praying for them on traveling on their way back? Carrie and Todd and all them is down yonder in Georgia. And I sent her a text said, how was your church service this morning? And she said, the preacher broke his hand. And it gets, <laughs> that's what you get, a motorcycle preacher. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, they're traveling. Uh, and some others are traveling back from different places. Anybody else? Right quick before we go. I'd like to praise the Lord for healing my little wife. She's had a lot of trouble. In the last Amen. Week. Amen, brother. Amen. Anybody else? Brag on Jesus. Your best friend. We could have enough. Amen, brother. I just, I just don't think he'd be pleased if I didn't brag on him. Yeah. I got laid off a few weeks ago, and 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 you know, I thought, you know, I thought, how are we gonna pay our bills? You know, we got a lot of bills now in the house and some cars and stuff. Yeah. And man, you know what? I didn't even lay off. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Right quick. Go ahead, Brother Junior. Praise the Lord, brother. That's right. Man. Yeah. Amen, brother. That's the way to go. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Woo! Hat man, hallelujah. Hat man. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Hat man, brother. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's a good. Y'all better listen to these little sermons the Lord's preaching. Anybody else? Go ahead, Miss Desi. And y'all had a lady here this morning from the, amen, a new lady. Anybody else right quick before we go? Well, um, i just like, like to say that I've wondered sometimes why that I see people younger than me that's been taken out of here and why the yeah. Lord still leaves me. I'm a little bit out of here and something under 80. But now I had, uh, all this last year, a lot of people's calling me to pray for them. I've seen three people. Amen. Completely healed on my list. Amen, brother. I heard a boy call me up here from the handle of Doc Holiday. Then I run with out of Damascus, Virginia, didn't know where I was at. And it had been years since I've seen him in W&L. When his wife's caught cancer, he called a boy in Charlotte. He called me and asked me to pray for his wife. What about that? I 
I've got three on my list now, but I've never had that many. Amen. Had people ask me to pray for them. Amen. It looks like cancer is just pathetic that people have a bad Oh, it is. It is. Everybody seems like it's got it. Amen. Listen, while we're in a good praying spirit, when we dismiss, y'all remember those people over there in Iraq. I'm telling you, if you turn, if every time you turn on the news, it's something new. That them ISIS people, I'm telling you, buddy, we they messed up. We messed up a few years back, pulling all them troops out of there. They just come in and took over, and we knew that was a mistake. And so, uh, let's pray. They say they say they already have plans to hit here in America. People say, oh, that can never happen. We, we thought 9-11 could never happen. And the devil, you know what God will do? He'll pull back his protecting hand off a nation. And he's done it in the Bible. What's wrong with our country tonight? We've turned our back on God. And we're in trouble. So let's pray for our nation tonight. That's why I always put it in the bulletin. Our nation. Pray for our nation. Um, Zach, is it his birthday today? Ain't that right? You want to sing a song? It's Eddie. But Eddie Clark's birthday is today, and he's going to sing a song all by himself. How many of y'all like to hear that? Or either sing a song or give $100. Which one you'd rather do? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But, but anyway, uh, uh, be friendly in the Lord, fellowship. Uh, I hope some y'all going to help me take that food over there. One of y'all? Amen. I've got more than a carload, that's for sure. Um, appreciate everybody being here tonight. Don't miss Wednesday night. Pray for me. I'll be... Preaching tomorrow night, Tuesday night with Kevin and Miss Kathy down in Mooresville, and then Thursday night. And then the following Thursday and Friday, I'll be uh, preaching down in Salisbury, North Carolina, in Revival. And the weekend after that, we're going to Troutman. And then the weekend after that, uh, I think that's when I'm going to uh, Texas uh, for a, a week of Revival. And then somewhere else, Scott Hefner's for three days, and then right on in our camp meeting. So we're planning on having, for all the bus workers, instead of our breakfast this year, uh, bus workers and their significant other. Uh, uh, our bus supper on the 27th, that'll be the last Saturday night in this month. We'll talk to you about that. So uh, bus workers and spouse, okay? All right? Uh, don't forget that. We'll talk to you more about that this week, okay? Let's stand. We'll be dismissed. But Jason, you dismiss us. Everybody fellowship.